Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. First on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight. A Dallas woman is wanted in another state for giving illegal butt injections that cost someone's announced in St. Louis, Missouri. And the suspect is someone with a criminal history here in North Texas. Dion Anglin in our Dallas newsroom with more on a story she's been following for months. Dion. Yeah, that's right, Steve. The case was accepted by the St. Louis, Missouri County prosecutor. The Dallas woman who is wanted has served time for other crimes, but until now, her record included nothing like this. 44-year-old Natika Deontay Lee of Dallas, shown here in a booking photo from a past arrest, is accused of causing a Missouri woman's death after allegedly giving the woman illegal butt injections. A St. Louis County court document reveals Lee is charged with first-degree involuntary manslaughter. It states, on or about July 26 of 2015, defendant Natika Lee used a syringe to inject silicone into the buttocks of Daisha Phillips. As a result of defendant's reckless actions on July 30, 2015, Daisha Phillips died. The victim, Daisha Phillips, was an exotic dancer in the St. Louis area. She also went by the name Milani. The Edmondson Police Department tells Fox 4 Phillips met the suspect in a hotel room near the St. Louis airport to get the injections. Investigators have not said how the Dallas woman became connected with Phillips. A spokesperson from the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office says a warrant has been issued for Lee, but as of Tuesday, she had not been arrested. The only address the office has for her is this South Dallas home on Havana Street. When we visited, no one answered the door, and neighbors told us Lee no longer lives there. This booking photo of her is from the Dallas County Jail in 2011. Dallas police say department records show officers have handled incidents involving Lee 26 times. Now, our own public records search shows Lee has served jail time or received probation for crimes including robbery, burglary, theft, and credit card abuse. Steve, back to you. All right, Dion, the victim lived in St. Louis. The suspect apparently was living here. How did police connect the two? Yeah, we wanted to know exactly that. We've been talking with the police department that handled this investigation there in Missouri, in Edmondson, Missouri. Early on, they indicated they had video from the hotel involved and that they were pouring over that evidence in hopes of being able to ID the suspect. We don't know for sure. Steve. All right, Dion England from Dallas News. Thank you.